learn all the small things. So we start out with the snare and floor tom and bass and two hits. Then straight into the crash for a crash groove uh, and you're gonna go boom, boom, chick, boom, boom, chick. Now that fill is do goo cha to ga do pa So it's, and then snare, high floor, bass, all right? That just takes practice, you know? You gotta practice going snare, high floor, bass. If you look this up online, you'll see a phrase called bucket of fish, bucket of fish. And that's kind of a popular drumming thing now, so. That's what he does, essentially. Travis uses that all the time. All drummers use that all the time. Bucket of fish, bucket of fish. And so slow, once again. Of course, in this context, it's... Then straight into the verse. Hi-hat, doo chat doo chat So slow... But he adds little things in there to make it so it's not just do chat the whole time, right? So you got all the small things to get truth bring. He adds like some open hi-hats in there. And then B bigger bigger B bigger B bigger B something like that. You just kinda throw some hi-hat with bass accents in there and then play some singles. You just kind of make it work, you know? That's a really punk thing to do anyways, um, to get used to playing singles, but get used to playing a bass with an accent. So that accent can either be hi-hat or crash. There's not really much science to this. I mean, you just make the accent interesting, right? Ah, 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 uh. Make it like a melody. Make the accent the melody and make the rest of the notes just sort of a layer or bed of notes. Ah, 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 ah. So yeah, that's how you do that part. Then eventually. There's all kinds of different ways to pull that part off. You know, essentially it's just sort of building you into, it's a, it's a Tom Groove-ish, but it's not really Tom Groove, you know? It's where the bass drum keeps playing on the quarter notes. So you have to get used to the bass drum playing while you play other rhythms with your hands. This is a really important thing to practice as a drummer anyways, because it's more of a layering type thing, right? Where you have this layer down below, which is really just the pulse. And then you put these sort of melodic accented type elements on top. And you kind of sing those elements to yourself. So you get to where you can play that bass drum comfortably while being able to go, uh, now, can you put real counting with this? Sure, you can. But if you just think of it musically, it works as well, you know? So he's using like flams, you know? Flam, 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 flam. So on the snare, typically we just do it on the snare. On the toms, we like to divide it between toms because it makes it more powerful. Which is why when you tune toms, you want the relationships of the toms to sound good together and in a relationship as far as contour around. But that's another video. So it's kind of like this. Back into... Bucket of fish. All right, back to this. <laughs> And then in the bridge, you get this sort of marching snare thing that's really cool. And it's one thing that Travis has always done is bridge that gap between the DCI marching guys 
and the drum set guys because he comes from both backgrounds, right? And so he helps bridge that gap, those cultures, those divides that we have. So the bridge ends up sounding something like this. It goes back to layering where my feet are playing the quarter notes together. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bass and hat. And then I have this sort of bah, uh, ah, uh, ah, blah. So how am I doing that? Well, um, you play 16th notes, one e and a, two e and a, and you add accents for one. So, um, so I'm going accent, da -la, da -la, and you can go ba -da -ba -da -ba. you can do singles for that, or you can diddle it. You can make it a five stroke roll. Five stroke roll is diddle, diddle, ah. So right, right, left, left, right. A diddle is when you throw your wrist down and you get two notes, but you're only going down once with your wrist. So digga, digga, da. Digga digga da, digga digga da, digga digga da. Uh, so like da. Uh, ah. And then eventually, crescendo on singles. It ain't so. I will not go. You know, that's pretty much the whole song. It ain't so, I will not go. So, I'll be your thrill. I will go on, I will go on. He doesn't actually do that at the very end of the song, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think he actually does that. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, man. I'm Barrett. Uh, if you'd like a song lesson on another song hit me up let me know what it is and i'll see you guys in the next song all right have a good one